you have to make sure that whatever is coming in is balanced with whatever is going out. These, these are our initial strategy. These are the things that you need to do, again, with the new information, with the new environment that you're in. Do not live beyond your means. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on where you're watching us from. Um, we come before you as the financial diet to uh, share with you a few financial uh, matters and a few financial insights that would help you get better financially. Our desire is that you grow, that you get better, and that you will improve in your financial journey. If you are struggling, don't worry. There is hope for you that uh, you will uh, get better when you do a few things. The only thing and the only challenge is starting. There are people who wish to get better, and you can, only, you can only get better by doing that which you wish to do. If there's something you don't like in your life as you write your life story, you are the only one that uh, changes uh, or can change your story. If you don't like something that you see, if you don't like something that you have, have uh, in your life, in your financial journey, you have every right and every power to change it by doing things that you need to do. Someone said that people who wish and wishes don't make people. You wish and you do something and whatever it is that you work on becomes a reality. You bring those dreams to life. I remember when I was young, someone telling me, a friend of mine telling me that you have dreams and big dreams. And I remember we used to talk about convertibles and all those things. And someone said, you dream, if your dream is not big enough, doesn't scare you, you need to go back to sleep and big a, dream, a, a bigger dream. And those dreams uh, can only come to pass when you action them, when you put action into those dreams, when you wake up in the morning, roll up your sleeves and work. You know, someone said, um, uh, okay, I can't quite remember how it goes, but it says that for you to act actualize those dreams, you have to work, you have put in, to put in the work. And um, <laughs> someone says, you dream, uh, you, see, you see houses, you see buildings, you see uh, uh, jets, you see companies, uh, conglomerates, you see all these things in life. All these things were dreams somewhere in the mind of someone. But they actioned and they purposed that they will put in place disciplines that will save, that will borrow uh, to fund uh, that will feed that dream and make sure that that dream comes to reality. And uh, I remember sometimes in life you face challenges and you face things that derail you, uh, sicknesses that derail you, and you face um, uh, some people are divorced and that derails you financially, uh, or you lose your breadwinner in your family and that derails you financially, or even companies or institutions or individuals, uh, we've we are, we, are, we are right now coming from COVID. And this was a difficult period and, and, and a very, uh, very uh, traumatizing period for some people who lost jobs, who lost, uh, whose companies didn't do so well. And at the end of the day, uh, we have to uh, build again. We have to put in uh, effort to reconstruct. We were beaten down. Uh, our financial reserves or what we call our emergency funds for people that lost jobs, our financial reserves or the, the emergency funds have been depleted. We have to fund that again. And I want to talk about re-strategizing and refocusing. When you have been beaten down financially, it's important for companies, it's important for individuals to sit down and re-strategize, to sit down and replan again. You know, you you were having stable income and that was funding your life. This income is no longer stable again. You were having a company that was doing very well. Your suppliers now cannot be able to pay you and your company is struggling. Or you were dealing with, uh, I remember there were people who had eateries and when COVID uh, hit, uh, countries were shut and people were not able to eat out anymore. And that was your income. What happens uh, if companies uh, or, or what, what, what you were doing comes is shut 
or you can't do it anymore. It's always important to sit down and re-strategize. Someone told us that when, you, when you're down, you can rise up again. You can decide to stay down and feel sorry for yourself and say, after all, every, everything and everyone is going through what I'm going through. Or you can decide that I will raise up, I will raise up, dust myself off, up and move on. And once I do that, I will rebuild again. And 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 um, I, I, I was looking at I, I was looking at the meaning of this restrategizing uh, in the dictionary. Restrategizing is coming up with a new strategy. You had a strategy before it didn't work. You had a personal plan before that personal plan didn't work. Short term goals, long term goals. You had all all of this figured out. And something comes and disorients you and uh, uh, messes with your plan. So you need to sit down with yourself and, 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 and uh, plan again. And I will quickly uh, mention a number of things that you do. And uh, this in our strategy class uh, uh, is, is taught as the components of a strategy. And number one, you need to visualize again. You need to look at a vision. You need the same things you do when you're coming with an initial plan. This, these are an initial strategy. These are the things that you need to do again with the new information, with the new environment that you're in. You know, COVID, now, now COVID era is what we're living in. Before then, you had a plan that was not uh, in COVID times. So you have to plan with the COVID and COVID effects uh, and that new strategy and that new plan. You have to write it down. The Bible says write your plan, write your vision clearly. You know that someone running would be able to read it. Make sure that that vision and that plan looks and makes sense to you. And then you had the initial objectives, short term and long term objectives. You need to do the objectives again in line and aligning them with the new environment and the new, uh, for example, personally, if your income streams have been affected, you have to do your plans and you have to do your long-term and short-term goals in line with your limited or limited resources or the income streams that have been affected. Uh, I remember talking about cash flows, inflows and outflows. You have to make sure that whatever is coming in is balanced with whatever is going out. Do not live beyond your means. You align. For example, if you are living in a place uh, you, had, uh, you, you are renting and you are paying X amount, and right now your incomes are not, uh, uh, are not uh, funding or cannot be able to fund uh, this kind of a house, you need to move from that house to a smaller house. And then, and then, uh, and then number three, uh, number one is visualize. Number two is uh, set objectives. Uh, once you set your objectives, then fund those objectives. Uh, <laughs> we used to fund, uh, uh, fund, we used to fund uh, uh, a lifestyle with a new environment that was pre-COVID, that was, we had abundance. If you have, we had bonuses. And uh, I remember uh, every time uh, a bonus was coming, it was certain in December, bonus is coming. And you plan for it. Right now, bonus is not a guarantee. Some organizations have cut off bonuses. Some organizations, uh, people who earn from shares, we remember there were seasons of plenty and the company will declare huge dividends for you. Maybe those dividends are not coming. Whatever it is that is coming, make sure that you do not, uh, you've already cut, uh, you've already cut your expense. Fund, if it's a company, fund uh, the, the projects and organizations and departments that are going to bring you money. Do not, uh, I, I'm told of a person in an institution that the finance department, because they do not know the times that we are living in, is living the way we used to live before. And that has really affected the organization because the resources are going in places that the, 
that the monies can uh, be saved from. You still uh, have people traveling the, the same way that they used to travel before. You still find people, um, uh, people buying houses and being in places that are expensive and costly. And that can be saved, you know, you know. So allocate resources. Allocate your time to what is going to bring you money. If something is not bringing you money, this is not the time to hope and wait and, and say that it's going to bring you money over time. And then prioritize. Make sure that you know what needs to be long term and what needs to be short term. And, 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 and sometimes you find people working with long time, long term objectives and funding, uh, allocating resources to long term objectives when they're supposed to be allocating these resources to short term objectives. So prioritize, know what needs to be paid first and what needs to be paid last. What can wait, delayed gratification. What can wait, what should be done now and what can be done later. Someone said, I remember someone prophesying about 2022 and they were saying this is going to be a very difficult year and avoid unnecessary borrowing. If you must borrow, borrow only which, that which you can afford to pay back. And if you, you, if you can stay away from borrowing, don't. Expenses, this is not the time to buy. Uh, I remember one of my bosses who used to go to uh, um, one of the uh, boutiques and gets six suits and each suit is going for significant amount of money. This is not the time to buy all that extravagant life. It's good to be careful because we do not know how the future looks like. Whatever it is that you need to do, you know, whatever it is in this season that you need to do, make sure that you take care of yourself. Sit down with yourself. Uh, I'll repeat. Plan, visualize how five years or two years or this year is going to be. Put it down in writing. And then uh, see what is short term, what is long term, allocate resources to that and prioritize whatever it is that you can hold. If there's a project that can wait for tomorrow or for next year, you know, you can push it to next year. Do not strain yourself so much that you find yourself into expensive debt that is going to cripple you. Whatever it is that you need to do, do and have God work with you. But don't stay down. If you were down, rise up, dust yourself up, and God being together with us and God going in front of us and fighting for us, he will make every crooked way straight. He will provide and give you exactly what it is that you need. You will not, you will not, and I repeat, or you are not helpless in God. God is with you and God will work with you, depend and trust in him and he will make your ways prosperous god bless you don't stay down god bless you